Hey boys and welcome back to another Bleach Brace Soul video. So today we are going to be talking about Golden Week and what to expect for this celebration. Now outside of anniversaries, this is by far one of the biggest celebrations that we get in the game. Normally we get a bunch of free stuff and if you don't know what happens, it happens in about two weeks time actually. It should happen I believe on the 27th of April. I'm not sure on the exact start date but what you can guarantee is that it's going to happen at the end of the month of April which also brings me to the fact that we're probably going, no, I'm almost guaranteed to see a thousand year blood war banner for this month's end of month banner. So look forward to that if you are excited for it. I don't think it's going to be stern, which is we're going to have to wait and see, right? And going back to what Golden Week is, if you don't know what it is, basically, to be fair, I don't know the exact reason behind Golden Week, but what I do know is that the holiday in Japan that normally lasts around two weeks time and gacha games, you know, even outside of BBS, a bunch of gacha games, Dokkan's gonna do it, Legends probably, a bunch of gacha games are going to use this holiday as a reason to get some money and give a lot of free stuff out to the player base, right? Normally, I mean, at least two years ago, three, no, oh jeez, we've been almost playing Bleach Bracelet for five years now. Four years ago, when the game first came out, the only time we ever got guaranteed five-star tickets was during this Golden Week celebration and the anniversary, so that's why you can just straight look forward to it. We're going to get a bunch of free stuff uh nowadays obviously the game has changed a lot we're gonna get way better stuff than just a guaranteed fire star uh if we go by last year what you can almost guarantee is that we're gonna get increased drop rates on a bunch of the jewel quests maybe the resurrection rings too and the one I'm really curious about is if we're going to receive double drop rate for IZ. Now, last year, we did get that. We also did get it around three months ago, almost four months now. So I'm very curious on how they're going to handle it because nowadays, you know, last time we did get double IZ uh, drop rate on the pots. This time, we have Link slot characters. So I wonder if they're going to give it to us. If they don't, that's going to be very scummy of Caleb and they just want it instead. Instead of giving us increased drop rates on IZE, they want us to, you know, they want to sell it to us with the Link slot characters. I'm very curious on how they're going to handle it. Hopefully, they do bring out the double drop rate for IZE because it's by far one of the best times to max Link slot your characters. Last time they brought it out for two weeks, I, I Link slotted like 15 characters. It was quite mad. So if you're a casual or you just started, this is definitely the best time to Link slot your characters if we do get it, right? I can't guarantee it now, but we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, also, you can almost guarantee that we're going to get a login bonus with a bunch of free stuff, which one of them should include a guaranteed fire star. So look forward to that. That's always nice to get if we, you know, to be fair, nowadays, guaranteed fire tickets aren't that special anymore because we get it like every two weeks for the point event. We get it every month for the Senkamon and we get one every two months for the Awakened Epic Raids. So yeah, like, you know, they're not that special anymore, but for beginners out there, this definitely uh, just a free way to get it. Just log in. You're going to get yourself a free fire star it's always good to get right regardless of how many premium characters you got or not uh, even if it's a dupe that's 20k transcendent points in addition to that, we should also get a bunch of free multis every day for 10 days and the last day should guarantee a 5-star. We could see something similar to the anniversary, I believe, where the first and last multi is guaranteed 5-star. Hopefully that's the case because two guarantees is just better than one. <laughs> just that simple. This one will probably include seasonal characters. We're going to have to wait and see, but my guess is that it would have seasonal characters. Um, this will obviously happen for 10 days, guaranteed than the last one. So that's basically it, right? Almost the things you can guarantee for this celebration is a guaranteed 5-star, some free multis, uh, definitely some paid packs. Last year they did it, so if you're a, a whale or you spend money in this game, there's something else to buy. So overall, like I said, just a decent event. Definitely one of the best celebrations we're going to get in the game. Hopefully this time they do something different, maybe add something new. I don't know what they can do, but uh, something new is always nice, right? That's, that's what I like to see. Uh, so yeah, also, I forgot to mention... The Brave Souls United play a part campaign um, that actually ends the day Golden Week actually ends, like that we got last year. So definitely those two are going to run alongside each other. The Brave Souls United event also stated in the news that it's going to get more stuff in the future. So expect for a bunch of just a lot of free stuff coming out into the game leading up to this end of month banner. And it's overall, like I said, it's going to be a fun time to play the game again. And I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, that's basically the video. If you lads did enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, show that good stuff, you know it is. And uh, let me know what you guys guys think about Golden Week and what your expectations for this event at the end of month and that's basically the video I'll see you lads in the next one peace